welcome to my channel my name is Elise um, and I was born with a congenital heart defect called tricuspid atresia and congenital heart defects to my knowledge are always gonna need maintenance your whole life it never goes away okay so that being said I needed maintenance on some issues with mine <laughs> um, and we were going on an Alaskan trip and so I had to take oxygen with me on the flight. So anyways, this video is essentially going to be a, like a mismosh posh of me unboxing the in Inogen G5, talking to you about traveling with supplemental oxygen, and the Inogen G5 versus the sequel Eclipse. You're going to notice my demeanor in the next few clips. It's like... I didn't know I was getting sick so the night I filmed the clips you're gonna watch I came down with a low-grade fever also I looking back I should have been wearing my oxygen maybe even while filming because my lips are blue you can just tell my whole like psyche is just I seem cranky in the video in my opinion um, but I just was tired and I wasn't feeling good um, and I came down with that um, low grade fever and the cough and sniffles like a few days before my procedure. Thankfully, I was able to still move forward with it. Um, it was a heart catheterization. I hope I'm not giving wrong info. Hi guys, future Elise here. <laughs> I wanted to explain the procedure a little better because heart catheterization doesn't really explain it. It's a little more complicated than that. I had a heart catheterization to embolize or block the collaterals that formed in my veins. Collaterals, to my understanding, are like tree branches that form on veins. These collaterals cause reduction in oxygen as oxygen is flowing towards these collaterals instead of where it needs to go. But clearly it worked. <laughs> um, we may still have to go in again because he wasn't able to get all of them, the doctor. Um, but we'll see. I don't know yet. Other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was Delta versus um, Alaskan Airlines. Delta, I had to fill out a form and then fax it to their uh, their department that processed that info to get approval to travel. It was pretty easy. Um, and then Alaskan Airlines was just a phone call, which made me a little anxious <laughs> that it was just a phone call because then the day we were traveling home, I kept panicking that like, what if we couldn't get on the flight and anyways we ended up going to customer service and the lady at the front desk was like oh i was actually gonna call you up and i was like oh okay well i'm saving you a trip so she looked over my medical necessity form actually i think i tried to show it to her and then she was just like eh. but she asked is the airline approved and i said yes it is um and I'm sure they would have noticed had I gotten on the flight and it was like a tank. They, I'm sure they would have stopped me. Um, but just so you know, Alaska was a little bit easier than Delta. Um, but I feel like Alaska came with a little more anxiety attached to it because I had to call and tell them I was bringing oxygen. They asked what kind. I told them what kind. And then they just note it in your airline info. Um, whereas Alaska, you had that physical receipt of sending the email and then a response saying, okay, it's added. And you didn't really get that with Alaska. <laughs> the rest of the video is going to be me talking to you guys about unpackaging Inogen, the process to getting the Inogen, which wasn't really a delightful experience, I'll, I'll be honest. It was very frustrating. So the next few clips hope you enjoy please hit subscribe please like this video um, I hope it helps you if you're going to be traveling with oxygen no you're not alone it's gonna help you it's gonna make you feel better I am so happy that my doctor told me you're gonna need this because 
I noticed when we were in the air, I, I felt different, like, and I don't think, I don't know, I think I probably would have passed out or something if I didn't have the oxygen, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thank you, and I hope you have a good day, please subscribe, thank you. Alrighty, <clears throat> I was gonna wait to film this till I felt prettier, but, whatever, we're just gonna roll with it, okay? Um, I'm unpackaging the Inogen G5. I was supposed to have it for my Alaska trip, but Inogen job dropped the ball. So we're, uh, anyways, that's, that's a whole nother thing. Uh, okay. So it comes with a little getting started guide. <coughs> battery so essentially <coughs> right before my trip I went on my to my cardiologist appointment and I knew I'd been tired but I just kind of wrote it off because I thought it was because I hadn't been working out turns out <coughs> my stats my oxygen is low so anyways she was like you're gonna need uh oxygen for the plane or you're gonna be miserable and anyways the one my insurance originally approved through home health was the sequel eclipse which i can you can see it in the background actually i'll bring it closer but it's 18 pounds and I wanted the smaller version so when we were in Alaska like I could go on hikes and you know take it to places easier without feeling like um, held back and <clears throat> the original <clears throat> person I spoke with said that my insurance denied it well then days later Sorry, I feel really jumbled right now. What happened was <clears throat> they had said that my insurance denied it. So um, they said I'd have to pay for it. We could finance it and he also failed the person helping me failed to tell me that there would also be um, interest on it as well which I mean I figure if you're leasing it I had to be the one to ask is it is there um, my brain right now you guys I can't think I was the one who had to ask if there'd be interest on it I was the one <clears throat> to I don't know I feel like I'm gonna have to go into a whole nother video after I've written everything down actually what happened was I called my insurance because I no no I remember now okay bear with me you guys I'm really sorry <laughs> I probably should be wearing this right now <laughs> maybe that's what's going on um ended up calling <coughs> in a gin and I got a different salesperson I said hey can you tell me why it was denied and he was like it wasn't denied your insurance wasn't active I was like it's active like so then I got a hold of the person who had been originally helping me and I was like you guys said it was denied but it was showing inactive it's not inactive so I was like can you please have them re rerun it <coughs> So he re-ran it and I also called my insurance and apparently there was a glitch in their system and other people have also been having their insurance saying they're not active when they are active. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Um, they re-ran it and it, it was covered. So <clears throat> now at this moment in time when it had been approved there's only seven days till i leave and 
now they need another form filled out by my doctor, another type of prescription. And then something about they said my doctor filled it out wrong. It's like, if they filled it out wrong, why didn't you try and do this much earlier in the process? Because also you had to have a prescription in the beginning. <clears throat> Anyways, I don't know if I'm explaining this well. I'll try to re- Kitty, what are you doing? Kitty. She's really old. She's my baby. <clears throat> Next thing we have in the box is just, it looks like a, a charging port. Um, some more, ooh, so like a car charging one. And... <clears throat> one for the wall. Okay. I wish I could show you how this is. Come with me. Okay. This is really sturdy. Like, it's super thick. This is so awesome. Yeah, what a difference. Look at this. Oh my gosh. If you guys knew, like, I'll have to insert some clips from the, the flight, but putting that between the seats was a pain. And then also dragging that around, like, for someone, like, if someone is having breathing issues, like, I'm fairly healthy, in my opinion. I'm 35, and that was hard to drag around. So, for someone older, maybe more fragile, like, why? Why did they even make things that big? I don't know. I will say, though, this is only like a pump kind so you have to breathe in order for it to give you more air that one over there is a continuous flow or it can be so you can have two settings you can have the continuous flow or you can do the like the pump comes with this purse Okay. I'll put this on and do a little, do a little dance or something. Not a dance, I'm just kidding. Anyways, okay. Let me go grab that other one so you can see. What? Do you see that? It like comes up to here on me. This was the bag just for the batteries, okay? So this is the sequel Eclipse 5 and it's approved for flying. <clears throat> but there's a whole bunch of different routes to go through when you're flying so you need to check with your airline, okay? Um, so we went on Delta and Alaska Airlines and each one had their own um, requirements. Delta was a little more stuff you had to fill out whereas Alaska was less. So that was kind of nice. Um, this is one battery, okay? This, when we flew, I had them both charged. Um, and I was told they were supposed to last three hours, but one only lasted an hour. So be mindful of that. We only brought two. Thankfully, the flight is only like, two hours and 45 minutes, so it, it was fine. Um, yeah, that was, it was a little sketch, a little sketch. Okay, then, basically it's, it's literally its own um, carry-on. You see that? Okay. And then, um, you could bring this down, like that. Um, when we were going up and down the stairs, my husband just carried it for me. 
because it is it is heavy um we just got home from a trip so it is pretty messy in my house i'm sorry um this is what the screen looks like for this one to turn it on you would press this it's normal for it to make that noise okay this is the continuous flow okay this allows you to move it up and down obviously you would have that there so this allows you to go up and down this is the pulse one so um, that's on a pulse flow when you're breathing okay um, this is gonna go away after a few minutes obviously if you should have your oxygen attached to it so that'll go away and then this you hold it down to shut it off okay then so, so I don't know if you can see uh, you probably can't you can on the bag but <clears throat> little airplane thing that says you can or that it's approved for flying but you have to call your airlines and check with them okay you also need to get a medical necessity note to travel with <coughs> so now we're going to show you this so this right here is a battery it just comes out like that and then I kept having issues putting it back, so my husband kept fixing it for me. But essentially, it should just slide right back in like that. Okay? Um, yeah. But that's SQL Eclipse. Inogen also sent a continuous one, so I think what I have to do is I have to send back my home healthcare ones, um, <clears throat> which are tanks, um, in order for my insurance to cover that one. So I do need to figure out how to get those returned. I have to call them on Tuesday, um, but with Inogen, they are required, I guess, to send a continuous flow one as well. So I'm going to unpackage that and see what it looks like compared to my other one. I hope I like it because I do really like my home health care one. Um, so hopefully I like it because I fought tooth and nail for that mini one. <laughs> okay, I'm returning the sequel Eclipse on Tuesday. So it's just on a little rental basis. with a long one like my other one so that's really good because they at least the other one was really loud so we put it in my room and then so kyle and i each have a room so he has a gaming room and i have like a craft room slash closet anyways um we put it in my craft room and then we shut our door so we don't have to hear the noise. But anyways, it came with a long one, long, long tubing. So we'll be able to do that, which is good. I don't like these ones with like the thick, I have to show you guys my other one. There is a difference. How do they make them like that? See, those are way different than... That's a cat fountain. And the older cat doesn't like it, but the two younger ones like it. <coughs> and I don't like it. No, I don't like it. But... Obviously. <laughs>
yellow for a little while, but then it disappears after a few minutes, and then it adds a blue check, so that's good. Okay, I'm going to try and keep this shorter because I feel like the other clips are long. <laughs> um, so, I told you guys I would show you the Inogen G5 on. I don't need to wear it anymore unless we're in elevation. Um, I did go to the doctor since filming those past clips and I am good to go for optimistically three to five years. Um, no more surgeries for three to five years, optimistically. So, cause you never know, life is ever changing, but yeah, should be good. So I'm really happy. Like, look at my color, you guys. It's back. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, nice and small, just, just like you're wearing like a little satchel going on an adventure. Adventure, at least. Okay. This is where you'll plug in your tubing. This is where you'll turn it on, which I don't know if it's charged right now. But obviously you will hit the power button. This is the volume. This is gonna let you turn the air up or down. And this will be to turn it down. But I mostly just wanted to show you guys the full get up, which is a lot better than the other one but what's nice is I'll have this for future traveling now so it'll be a lot less stressful trying to get stuff approved for insurance but good gravy it's like you turn the camera on I forget how to do anything well, that is the Inogen G5 yeah, a lot easier to travel with. Anyways, please subscribe. Um, also, like this video and just know if you have congenital heart disease or um, a chronic illness, you're not alone. There's community out there and friends to make. So, and don't forget to advocate, advocate for yourself, okay? It's very important. Bye.